what is up guys so um considering we are almost in the month of october in fact we probably will be in the month of october by the time this video goes up maybe maybe not but uh yeah i just did a free enterprise the other night uh for the first time in a very long time and i was really impressed by how like i remembered everything in this game and uh you know the the logic of this randomizer so um yep we're doing a free enterprise seed and the uh theme is uh darkness has overtaken the entire world so we're playing on night mode which means all the overworld shops are going to be closed um until we get underground or to the moon we are hunting a bunch of creepy shit like mylon with the zombies mylon as a zombie dark knight dark elf uh calbrena because dolls are creepy uh dark imps evil wall and plague so um we only have to find five and defeat five of them to win the game doing my standard flag set that I like to do. So uh, we do have Treasure Wild, just because I want this to go a little bit faster uh, than usual, because it is 125, I'm crazy, and I'm drinking coffee. But you already know I'm crazy. That's why you're subscribed. Anyway, let's go. Rose is our starting character. I only had uh, three characters that we had a possibility of starting with, and that was Rosa, uh, Cecil, or Purim, because they're night hunters. They're all... Uh, holy element. So, we got Rosa, though. That's a great start. I'm glad we got her instead of Porum. <laughs> Let's see who we're starting with and what we're starting with. Okay, we got Yang. There's Calbrena right there. Uh, okay, so we need to remember that Baron has Calbrena dolls. And we got the Earth Crystal to start off with. Um, Samurai Bow and some arrows. Okay, well, we get to, like, go and check the treasury immediately. That's really nice. Let me double check my recording. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we know Calbrina is in Baron, so we're on the lookout for Baron Key. Sweet. Well, it's nice to have one pointed out to us right at the beginning. <sighs> that doesn't guarantee that we'll find the Baron Key, though. I need to, uh... Hold on. Fix my inputs, because I still have my... Uh, fast forward button bound to my controller and we don't fast forward in free enterprise uh, I don't have a timer because I didn't I deleted my timer not too long ago looking for a new version of it but uh yeah there isn't one so <laughs> uh, yeah we shouldn't do any of this actually I should just go straight to Troya so yeah there's no timer but I will get one and I will put it up for future runs because I like having a timer yeah, we're about to get a lot of really good stuff, hopefully. Nice to just immediately get to go to the treasury. Which means we, we might be able to not loot uh, starting kind of early. Depending on what we find. And we don't know what our who our characters are either yet, so we're going to have to hold on to a lot of this stuff, probably. Money, crystal shields, and Hunting dagger, power staff, thunder. Whoop. Uh, kind of a lackluster treasury, actually. Um. Well, uh, we'll wait to equip till after we've been around a little bit. We'll check the little stuff too. Silver, white, crystal armor. It's money. We'll probably never use the crystal armor. Alright. There's no free key items, so uh, we can't go get anything from Bedward. So, okay. That gave us some stuff to start looking. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go over here immediately and check this boss. Um, so I guess I will equip now. Just because. At least Rosa. Uh, we got Charm Arrows. That's good. Uh, Samurai Bow we have. That's what we wanna do. Guy a hat. We started with. And a Silver Ring. Okay, and Yang, you got nothing, do you? I don't think... 
There's a cap. I knew I felt something on my chair. It's a fury cat. There we go. Got Rosa back road. Yang in the front. Let's see who we got. Is it one of my bosses? Paled him. Nope. All right. Go, uh, check. Well, the watery pass, first of all, for stiff. Because there's usually pretty good stuff here. Um, and then we'll check the back half of it for the Octomam spot. More crystal armor. Oh, we're definitely going to be in the money. Dragon Whip, that'd be great if we found Rydia. We also got a Blitz Whip. That's not as good as Dragon Whip, but we have it. Yeah, the run I did the other night was an orphan quest again, so it was Rydia, all Rydia themed stuff, and it was very fun. Defense Sword? Ah, oh, it's not the best, but it is a sword. Uh, arguably Kane's best weapon. Calbrena is in Baron. Just making sure that I don't forget that. We'll check these treasures too. Zeus Gauntlet, glad I checked. That's going directly on Yang. Cursed Ring, not really going to help us in uh, this kind of a seed because we're not fighting Zeramis. Could potentially, I guess, for some kind of a fight, maybe, but I doubt it. Well, we're also on hero mode, too, so, uh, Rosa is our agility anchor. Rubicant is not one of the bosses we're looking for. Go ahead and raise the hovercraft. Check the treasures first. I guess we'll go to Mount Hobbs before Antlion. Tech ring in there, that's pretty good. Get rid of the short bow. Get rid of uh paladin shield. Ice armor. Diamond shield. Hermes. Silver knife. Diamond armor and uh black sword. There we go. Power shirt. Okay, Yang's pretty much online now. That's good. <clears throat> That's almost always money. I don't know why I check it. And not a ton of it either. Craft. Let's go to Hobbs. Going to equip up real quick, too. Now that I got all that good junk. Punch Mage, what up, dude? Ninja hat. Power shirt. Zeus gauntlet. There we go. I don't think you got anything new, right? Nope. All right, let's check it out. Give me somebody good. Do I have exits? That's a good question. That does not look like it. Nope. Didn't start with exits. We got Tella and an Odin. We can beat him fast enough. We'll take Tella. 
We just played bingo with him recently. Oh, I didn't... Why did I bear? That was stupid. We might die now, because I did that. Gang, I'm gonna need you to hit him. I know you don't have a Thunderclaw, but I need you to do a lot of damage. That was not a lot of damage. Let's just throw that. This isn't just a lit, right? Thorridge, I don't remember. Yeah, it's just a lit. I could have just cast lit. Oh well. Cool. So we got Tella. Not a bad thing. Because now we can check the treasures up here. Because he's got exit. Bandana, hell yeah. Okay, yet another good piece of equipment for Yang. Are you tearing up my couch? Of course you are. Alright. Get us out of here, buddy. Alright, let's just go ahead and go to Fab Bowl. Typical thing. Do Fab Bowl, then we'll do Antlion. Let me, uh, see what I got for Tella. Uh, Lilith Rod. You get nothing over there. Cap is fine, I guess. Leather's all you got, and, uh, I guess, Protectoring, sure. And you can have the Rune Ring. Okay. Yang, uh, Bandana better than, uh, Ninja Hat? Just raises your power. You can just have the Ninja. There you go. Alright. This gets us a free heal. We don't need to worry about any of that. We don't check any shops here either. They're closed. Tower of Zod is open to us, but we're too low level. We didn't check Baron Annie either yet. That's a Mylon. Mylon Zed. Okay. Cool beans. Gonna be one objective checked off. Not quite dead yet. Probably could have just regular attacked with Yang and killed here. Pink. There he goes. Mylon Z, done. The world just became a little less evil. <laughs> Remember, we only need five to win. We know where at least one other one is in Baron Castle. Glass hat. Okay. No key item, but that's fine. We're, I guess, gonna go straight to Antline from here. Ordeals would be good because there's so many bosses to check. Um, but we'll wait a little bit longer before we do that. It'd also just be good to get Tella online. But we'll get there. I do think we don't loot anything in here unless it's directly on our way. Which is like one chest. This one? Money. Okay. I guess uh, we can give Tella the glass hat because it's going to help his defense a little. <laughs> well, a lot, really. Who we got? That's Sparkle. Could be Plague. D-Lunars. Okay. Not Plague. <clears throat> Dead. <laughs> Friggin' Yang 
is a powerhouse right now. Almost no point to attack with Rosa, just let Yang punch it. Dead. Hell yeah. What do you got for me? How did I know it'd be the magma key? My brain was even saying, is it the magma key? And there it is. All right, well that opens some stuff up. Probably gonna wanna trash some stuff soon. Whoop. Let's pop into Baron and do that. Kane is here. That's a pretty dang good character. Is that Water Hag or Febble Gauntlet? Water Hag. Okay, cool. Hello, Anna. I don't remember which one I was watching, but there was a race I was watching of this where uh, all the characters were named after spells from FF6 and Edward just so happened to be named after Merton. So when Anna popped up in the water hag fight, she just showed up and went, Merton! And I went, oh no! <laughs> Anna's here for revenge. <laughs> okay, karate man. Bring it. Impostor. Oh my god. Yeah, that ain't good. Blink. Blinks up, please. Oh, that kick hurts. Okay, we're not gonna be able to do this, are we? I don't think so. Nope. Well, wait, he's got glass hat. He should be okay. I probably should have put the glass hat on Yang. Just so I could get as much damage as possible out. Let's recall. Fatal? That'd be nice. <laughs> See if I can uh, get people back alive here, specifically Yang. And get a blink up on him with any luck. Nope, totally dead. Try again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just back us him. And then we'll try to blink him before he gets hit. There we go. We'll recover this shit. Nice whiff. Butthole. We'll just let him keep going. We'll keep Tella up to re-blink him. He doesn't need it yet. The kick didn't ca count as an attack, I guess. That whiffed because of the illusion. That one hit him. Oh, he's still blinked and I tried to do it again. Oh, we'll re-up it. Let's go, Yang. Yeah! Told you you were an impostor. Thanks for the Dragoon, buddy. And we got the package. That is a boss check and a character check. We might have a full team by the end of this. Because I think I will go and do the package now. Do 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 do. Get our cane equipped up. We do have a defense sword for him. Dancing dagger too, but whatever. I did sell all that diamond stuff I had, sadly, but that's okay. Samurai shield. Um, let's see. Tell a yeah. Let's drop your class. No, I like you. I, I like you having that. Actually, now that I think about it. Because, um, let's raise your power. Uh, because, um, 
once you get all your spells and stuff, that's going to be really nice to not have you just die to random hits. Uh, okay. Package. We should probably trash some stuff. Uh, diamond, shuriken, diamond, silver, silver, spear, iron. Let's just get rid of the cursed rings. Iron. Don't need the exit. I've got Tella. Uh, staff, silver. Uh, leather, iron. Cap. Grimoire. I ca probably should have capped the grimoire. That's all right. All right, let's go burn village mist. Sorry, Radia, wherever you are. <laughs> Who's here? Okay, pour him. And we got lunar sparkles burning the village. Cool beans. <laughs> so, double white mages. Not sure how helpful that's going to be, but... I mean, if we find a heroin robe, we can always turn one of them into a physical attacker and the other one into our healer. It's a cool cane palette, that gray dragoon. who the boss is in the Kaipo Inn. I only found Nylon Z, well, Calvarina too, but you know. Yeah, I think we rush, after this, we rush Mount Ordeals just for the boss checks. <laughs> Excuse me. And then after that, we probably go to Zot. Magma Key wouldn't be the worst thing to check right now either, just because there's some freebies, but... No boss checks down there right this second, unless you count the Dwarf Castle, and we're not ready for that, I don't think. Who's here? In the middle of the night. Mom bomb, you're kind of evil. With her extra ten thousand HP and bullshit. All right, just wait for him to explode. Her, sorry, your mom bomb. Not a pop bomb. Okay. Uh, nice. Attack, and then we'll kick him. Kick at you. Oh yeah. Dead. Not an objective, but a fifth character. Got a full team online. Evil shall not win. We have two freaking white wizards on our team. All right, let's see what we want to equip you with. Uh. I don't have a bow, do I? I sold the iron bow, that's okay. You got pretty much nothing you can't equip, do you? Nope, you are base equipment, my dear, sorry. Let's check the bed. Wind spear, yeah. Edge is in the bed. If we find a sand ruby, we beeline back here. <laughs> Bow show. But yeah, we're going we're going to ordeals now. 
There's some maps you just don't forget your way around. For me, this is one of them. I don't typically get lost in FF4. Long, long ago, I used to get lost uh, looking for Evelyn, but there's some tricks to know how to get there. What else did I get? Uh, it was a shield, right? Say, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Ninja shirt. That's what I got. Uh, that could be better than the pet. No, power's good. We'll just hang on to the power shirt. I will take a replacement for Porum wherever I can find one. That edge would be nice, but uh, we will have two treasure, two uh, character checks in Zot, so there is that. We have a wind spear, so if we like go into Zot and we end up finding uh, Paladin Cecil, we can always give him the defense sword and give Kane the uh, wind spear. That wouldn't be bad. Vanilla Mylon. How about that? Hell yeah. That's another objective. Just hanging out in the spot you're usually in, huh? We do have to make sure these zombies are dead. We might throw the Gaia drum here, because we want to make sure the zombies do not live longer than Mylon, because they get real, real powerful in a hurry. Your lit sucks, my lawn. Dude, I just played bingo with you, too. You were a Kafka. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Ooh, 666. Let's go, Yang. All right. That's my lawn now. Recall a virus or something, Tella. That'd be neato. Weak. Yeah, I wish that worked. Ching ching. He's dead. He's not dead. Wow. He... He's got more HP than I thought. Now he's dead. Yes. Okay. There's another objective. That's two of them. Do, 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 do. I am the blade that will banish this horrible night. All right, let's uh save. Don't need to heal or anything. I think we're good. Golbez. This is a shitty spot for him to be in. I'm being real with you. Just in general, it is. I don't have a pig status either. I don't think. But I couldn't avoid this crud. <laughs> Shadow Dragon ahead. While this is going on, uh, good time to remind you. Uh, I am having some exclusive content on Patreon still. Uh, the first BC Bingo is up, is going to be up there very, very soon, if it's not already up there, by Rosa. Uh, and, um, yeah, you will eventually get that on YouTube and get to watch it yourself if you're not part of the Patreon, but you get early access to it if you are. So, if that's something you're interested in, check it out. If not, that's cool too. All right. Uh, Starvale. Uh, good thing. Good thing it happened to Tella. Um, Kane, I guess you could sit here and 
Yeah, it's just gonna be Kane. I think two of those level three spells is gonna be enough to kill him. Well, maybe now. Yep. Cool. Not so bad. I played bingo with Golbez too, I just realized. We found him in a box. Dude, this is where all my bingo friends went. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bloop. All right. And we get a full heal here, so we don't need to worry about anything. Rosa goes in by herself because she's the hero. Hopefully, this is another boss we need. Either way, we're going to have Tella with all his spells. What do you got? Adamant Rock. Whoop. There we go. And King Queen Eblin. Okay, this doesn't do anything for me. Wonder if I can kill them before they just die. Hell of a sentence there. They shouldn't have that much HP in this spot, I don't believe. Whoop. Queen's gone. King's mad. King's not gone. There he goes. Okie dokie. Easy. Now, Cecil's Paladin, Tella has all his spells, and Medio. I wonder what other kind of cool themes I could do with Free Enterprise as far as like boss hunts and stuff. I guess dragons, all the dragons. Um, maybe cutscene bosses, all all cutscene bosses <laughs> with the fully dialogue, like make the bosses Doctor Luge, uh, Golbez, uh, Dark Elf, anything that that has a cutscene in it. That could be fun. And then, uh, like, maybe only free bosses? Like, that could be a fun one, too. I don't know. Let's go to Zot. I know I could go to, uh, Underground, like, right now, but I want to go to Zot. There's that one. We don't need to go there. This is two character checks and, uh... Two boss checks. I think I would like to see. I can use an N. I just can't find tents anywhere. <laughs> Keep remembering Calbrinas and Baron. Doing my best not to forget that. Now Tella has all his spells. This should be pretty dang easy. check the uh, vanilla flame dog chest just to see if he's in there. That's the only chest I'll check. Nope, crystal shield. Okay.
Okay, so what key item am I looking for here? Ooh, we probably... We might want the hook. Uh, because checking the hook location is gonna be a big deal if we need that boss. Dr. Luge, you are not, uh, one of the bosses I'm looking for, but I did manifest you. You know, I just realized if you drop the P, you can actually spell his frickin', uh, name from Plague. Uh, by the way, we played bingo with him too. <laughs> Oh man, we had a lot of FF4 characters, I think. We run into Fuso, yeah, he was there too. Get wrecked. <laughs> Can we kill him before he explodes? Yeah. Alright. Round two. I did bear again. Nice. <laughs> Restart the music. Oh, it didn't. That's weird. Usually does. Literally, I think, did nothing in this fight for poor him to cry. I would cry if I was poisoned, though. Just saying. There he goes. Nice levels. Uh, yeah, I don't have a tent, so I'm gonna have to hard heal here. Luckily, we came with a bunch of heals. No? Swag save. <laughs> Yo, Edge, and the Mist Dragon is, uh, in the Golbez spot at the Dwarf Castle. That's another key item check. But we have Edge now, so bye-bye Porum. We'll just have some front row dudes. Cecil, too. Hmm. I don't know which one of them would be better to bring, honestly. Oh, well, yeah, we'll just drop Yang now. Yeah. Take his equipment. And dismiss Porum, and don't take her equipment. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now we just got front row like crazy. This is fine. Uh, change. Put you here. Put you here here. Equip up Edge. I know we got good stuff for him. Yeah, Mass Moon. Uh, and Ninja. Ninja. Uh, Bandana's better. Uh, you have, you can keep the Black Belt, because that's fine. Uh, we'll give the Zeus to Cecil. And, let's see. Crystal Armor? Sure. He doesn't have an Avenger yet, so I'm not too upset about giving him that. Uh, crystal Shield, and we're taking the Defense Sword off of Kane, giving him a Wind Spear. Definitely a downgrade, but 
Okay. And Cecil the Defense Sword. And Edge. Oh, wait. Uh, Kane, Power Shirt. There we go. Okay. Not bad. It's a pretty good team, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inazo. Not someone we're looking for. But we do have Thor Rages, so we can stop your stupid bullshit. And we kept lit arrows for a reason, and this would be that reason. And Tella, how about you uh, cure three us because that wave hurt. Nice cover, Cecil. It's time to attack. Next person should throw a uh, Thor Rage. Unless he's dead. Nope. Wait, do lit arrows work? I don't remember. Let's see. No. Oh, we don't have another. Uh... Shit. Uh, I need to get to Tella then. Do you not have Blitz? No, you have Flame. Tell a Lit one if you would. Oh, he's in the shell now. Never mind. Should've done an Ice. Not that it super matters. I think he's pretty much dead. Oh, he did a wave from the shell? I didn't even know he could do that. Neato. <laughs> Hiding inside the shell! Get out of here, Kainazo. You are a disgrace to turtles everywhere. Alright. Lots of levels. Cecil got a little tiny bit of a slingshot there. Okay. No objectives up here, but two really good characters and... Whatever the key item is going to be. Be perfect if it was a Baron key, because it's going to drop me right there. Avenger Sword. Okay, well, now we got to take that crystal armor off. <laughs> uh, actually, no, it doesn't matter with the Avenger. Uh, he can just change it in battle and it, it doesn't matter. The crystal armor doesn't stop him from being berserked. He can still equip it. It only prevents him from being berserked uh, by spells. Alright, so uh, I guess we're going underground then. Uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and do that. Already did all my free checks up here, I think, right? Yeah. As you all know, the Avenger is my favorite weapon in Final Fantasy history. Right ahead, just barely edges out the Enhancer. But yeah, I love the Avenger, specifically because of this game. And what it do. Which if you don't know, you'll see. Well, I kind of gave it away anyway. Uh, the Avenger makes it so that you can uh, basically equip it in battle, and it berserks you immediately when you uh, equip it. 
And because you never put a uh, command in for, uh, yeah, we'll check these chests. You never put a command in for your character. Um, it keeps the stats of the weapon you had equipped before you switch to the Avenger while also berserking you. So, um, right now it's going to change the defense sword into the Avenger. So he's going to be berserking with the defense sword. And the thing about the defense sword is it uh, procs more hits, which is uh, basically accuracy is what the, is, it is in this game. Uh, and that can roll pretty high on it and do a lot of damage. The defense sword specifically is really good for that. Where am I going? <laughs> well, I'm really hoping that none of uh, the bosses we're looking for are down here in either of these spots. Because these spots suck. We can start checking shops now, though, because we are underground. And uh, the shops will be open. means we can offload a lot of the stuff we got. We have a lot. Our key item down here. Legend Sword. Okay, well, we can get an even better weapon now. It will be for Rosa, because she's the main character. Okay, I don't need any of that. Uh, before I sleep, let me sell stuff. Um... I think the uh, Rydia train has left the station. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, keep the flame rod for... No, he's got a Lilith rod. What am I talking about? And... Thunder rod... Hang on to Ninja Stars, those are pretty good. Dancing Daggers can go. And that last Charm Arrow, sure. And the other Crystal Armor. All right, don't need any of that. Uh, let's see, we need to... What was I doing? There was something I was doing. I forget what it was. Oh, uh, yeah. Got a white shirt. And a wizard robe. Kia. Alright, we're all at 1 HP right now. I'm keeping it that way because... Do we even have a moon veil? We don't. That's pointless. Okay, well. Uh, let me go rest then. <laughs> just in case we gotta fight these guys down here. If it would have been a physical boss, you can uh, pop a Moon Veil, and um, Cecil will automatically cover everybody and never get hit. <laughs> so, yeah. Everybody will live, because they're all at 1 HP. Cecil will auto-cover them, and the Moon Veil makes all physical attacks miss. I'm pretty sure it wears off eventually, but it takes forever to wear off. So... Yeah, that's a cool trick. I don't have the Avenger equipped on him. Okay, good. Just making sure I didn't do that stupid shit. We'll check the rest of the shops after we check these bosses. Evil Wall is here. That's a shit spot for him. Let's try it. This is gonna suck. A lot. Can be very fast and hit very hard. Um. Yeah, pop a Bacchus, buddy. Ow. Let's see if we can blink some folks before we just die. Oh shit! It's two-handed. I forgot. There we go. 
Oh, he's dead. Okay, this ain't happening. <sighs> All right, well, hopefully we can orphan that check, and I'm not touching Antlion either. So yeah, uh, Evil Wall's pretty much off the table for me. I don't even want to fuck with it. Uh, I don't need any of that. Um, nope, we're good. Oof. Check these uh, four chests down here, I guess. All six, really. One there, one here. Medusa arrows are good. I like to see those. Whoops. Went out the wrong way. Okay. So. I guess we'll go and do Dwarf Castle. Let's check Tamra. Kinda on the lookout for some sirens at the moment. I'll have to come go go check the item shop on my way out. I don't want any of that. Nope. Oh. I don't think I really need to loot anymore. Or like shop, I mean, I can still loot, but shopping I think I'm good on. Self market research guy, cool. Scoozy, 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 scoozy. Don't mean to be rude. Hourglasses. Three of those. Helpful in certain spots. Let's go to Dwarf Castle. I think we can take those bosses right now. Crash the airship. Get some pot from my jug dealer. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think we got this. I think we're correct levels for it and stuff. Check the shops, I guess. Hello, sirens. Coffins. Big ten of them. Excuse me, Luca. Sorcerer robe, damn. Ah, not worth. Wizard robe's good enough right now. I don't want to spend that kind of money in case I run into sirens. Hello. Dark elf, okay. Uh, that's an objective. Tella does have warp, right? So that we can check the key item here. I super hope so. I have the warp glitch enabled. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Cecil. Time to Avenger up, my dude. Start swinging. Berserk us an edge. And let's. I'm just gonna cure two item Cecil here. <laughs> he will die to the next try attack. Bang. He's changing. Okay, cool. Now we could weak him, but I think that 
Edge and Cecil are just going to kill him before we even get a chance to. Oh, yeah. Peace. Okay. Objective number three there. We might finish this really fast. Oh yeah, Dragon Mist. That's right. I knew that. Kind of weird that it's showing up here. This is where Rydia comes in and summons her. Palum. Uh, sorry. I've got Atella right now. I don't want to work on you. That kind of sucks, though, because this is uh, going to disappear on me. And Cecil is... Br Never mind, it's just dead. I don't know why when I'm chainsaw swinging, I think it's things aren't going to die as fast. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a key item check. Let's not forget that we got that. And, yeah, we get Ghost Hand. Hell yeah. The most rare hand. Neato. I love Ghost Hand. Yuri, you're sleeping upside down and it's fucking adorable. Okay. Alright, uh, do I have warp? I do. Okay, let's check this item. We may still need the Luka key. That's the twin harp. We may still need the Luka key to check uh, the boss in here. But I seriously doubt we will. We got Sand Ruby. <laughs> We're not gonna cash that in this time because it's Edge and we already have Edge and we can't get dupes. All right, so let's go talk to Yang so we activate uh, Sheila's script for the first check, and uh, from there we will go uh, check Dragon Mist, and from there I guess we'll do Twin Harp if we have to. Oh yeah, I forgot, we have to see Coco as well. Let's not forget that. We have the Legend Sword and the Adamant. Should make something for Rosa. Because she's the hero. Alright. That activates Sheila 1. Go down, see Kokol. Go up, check Sheila. And then I guess go do Twin Heart. Sir, make me something cool. <clears throat> Metal sword. Money. What's in your shop? Artemis bow and a life staff. Okay. I'm gonna need those. Perseus bow. Okay. Well, that's immediately going on, Rosa. Hell yeah. Alright. Sheila won. Uh, Twin Heart. Camps, plague, 
No Calbrana's and Baron, Dark Knight. Evil Walls in the Fey March, I really don't want to fight it. What you got? How did I know? Every time I think it in my head and I want to say it, I'm like, eh, don't say it. Should make that kind of prediction. It was the Darkness Crystal. I was about to say, give me the Darkness Crystal. I'll have a butt ton of freaking uh, checks then. I got a butt ton of freaking checks now. Uh, I'm gonna hit this in. Let's go do Twin Harp. That's one boss check and a key item. Kind of want to do as much as I can on the blue planet before going to uh, the moon. A lot because uh, I would very much like sirens to do a little bit of a grind. Before going up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't check Mist Dragon yet. Right. What you got on you, lady? The crystal. That is a useless key item. Except for counting towards our ten. Yeah, I wouldn't hate finding the hook, just so I can check Eblin's, uh, shop. Key up. What kind of track are you guys hoping for with the harp song? Last time, well not last time, but I remember the Christmas episode where I'm like, I really hope that we get Chrono Trigger music. That's what I want for Christmas, and then it happened. Um, I'm going to hope for FF6 music this time. I want Kefka's theme. Give me the Kefka theme on the harp. That'll be cool. So cute. Stop being cute, you wiener. He's like, no. <laughs> that hoodie is ruined, though. It's got hair all over it from you. Dang it. We're gonna have to sit through his bullshit, because... Yeah, Tell's got a glass hat on. There's no way Rose is gonna be able to kill him. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I don't even think I needed to do that. Yeah, no. I wish it was Rosa being like, Fuck you, Tell. <laughs> that was great. Alright, Kafka theme, let's go. FF10. Son bitch. Oh well. Gotta remember to take the Avenger off here. We gotta switch it on in battle to get the defense sword effects. 
And it's just nice in general to go in without necessarily berserking. Just in case. Boygan. Okay. Almost included him in the uh, objectives because he's a shapeshift and evil dude. Yeah, I'm not going to bother equipping the Avenger here. This thing's going to go down pretty fast. Get it for it. explodes, Rosa. Yeah, I think one of them's gonna get two. No, nice. All right, no objective there. Pan. Oh, <laughs> I tried to say it that time, and it didn't happen. Alright, get the hell out. Oh yeah, we can. Gotta go out here and then we can. Okay. Well, don't have a Baron key. Guess it's gonna have to be, um... Either we check half of the tower, hope to get the tower key in the tower, or we just go to the moon. Let's check the tower. I have to pee though, so I gotta like land and then go take care of business. There we go. BRB, AFK. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we only get to check top of tower here. It'd be pretty nice if the tower key is just here. But chances are not, because I did mix uh, key items in moon boss locations. So, yeah, there's a good chance that the tower key is up there somewhere. I haven't had a seed in a long time that I haven't had to nearly full clear or for full clear uh last night's seed i almost i got uh 16 to 17 key items too uh, it was it was rough octomam is up here okay well not the hardest boss, but not the one I'm looking for. Most of the most of them are probably on the moon, I bet. Rosa, you still got lit arrows equipped? I hope so. Yep. I bet we kill him before Tella gets the lit three off. We'll see. Up to Cecil, really. No, I think he'll get the lit three now. Yeah. Bang! Chopping, chopping, chopping legs. Wonder if Octomam is like related to Ultros. I guess I shouldn't think that just because they're both octopi. 
I don't know, it's ambiguous because Ultra says he's a squid too, so I don't know. He could be either one. Baron Key. Okay, well that gets us Calbrina. Um Hope something on the throne is uh what we're looking for too. Hmm. We might not have to go to the moon at all. That'd be nice. If I had a good way to level right now, we could take on that evil wall and just be done after the Calbrena, but I don't think that's going to happen. I guess I'm hoping that uh, Dark Knight, Dark Imps, or Plague is on the throne. Or on the Odin throne. That would be fine too, I think. Hmm. Kind of a weird seed. Alright, to Baron. Let's grab some jug real quick. That is one thing that sucks about the shops being closed, is not being able to buy tents or cabins. Um, we could check the moon shop, too. Uh, real quick. Ah, we'll wait. We can handle Baron without sirens and stuff leveling. And we're right here. Ooh, we can check this shop, though. This one will actually be open. Hello. Uh... Light sword... Lightsaber? Um... Yeah, buddy, we'll take it. saber now though so that's a great one to uh, switch off and now I can give Kane the defense sword back there we go all right we pretty much do not need to loot anything anymore we probably didn't need to loot a while ago actually Despite my confidence, I think I will save here. Never know if Plague is down here and we just get a uh, bad set of things happening. Nah, I'm, I mean, Cecil's probably going to kill it before he could die from the Condemned anyway, but... Yeah. Here we go. This definitely a <clears throat> an objective. All right, let's throw an hourglass. Because why not? Go get him, buddy. Throw a guy a drum tell, that'll probably just take care of him outright. Yeah. Didn't even need the hourglass, probably. 
All right, objective. One away. Let's go. Of Alice. Okay. That's cool, man. Bang. Not dead. No. I thought one swing from Cecil, lightsaber Avenger, was going to kill her. I didn't really need to heal that gradual petrify. I just felt like it. Alright, easy. And after this, we'll check the Baron Throne. And then if nothing's left, we go to the moon. We're not fighting the freaking evil wall. I refuse. Could be the hook. But I think that was Fab Old Gauntlet in the at the hook. Hello, Sid. We're saying bye to you immediately. What two statues are we putting down? Dancer and sword. Yay. Sword dance. Cool. <laughs> Thought we were playing FF4, not 5. It's the hook. Okay, actually, I don't think... Wait, we don't know who's at the hook. Because that was... Yeah, no, 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 no. We know that one of them is probably Fable Gauntlet. Because it was a blue robe, and we've already fought Water Hag. But we don't know what the other one is. So let's check the throne. Did I save? I don't think I saved. Maybe I did, I don't know. Sure, it would be nice if this was just like Dark Imps here. Come on, Dark Imps. Come on, Dark Imps. Yeah! It's the Dark Imps! We win. It's over. Hourglass and win. That's all. They're gonna hurt a lot, and they're gonna get a turn. Don't die, Edge. Okay, there's the Hourglass. They're gonna get another turn, too. Which is fine. But... I have 10 coffins, and they are uh, not immune to instant death. See ya. We gonna go for a swag stone. Yeah, let's go for a swag stone on this last one. Come on, Tella. I believe in you. Cecil might just kill him before he gets to There we go. Hit him! Yeah! Later. We win. All right, easy seed, honestly. Uh, I was worried we would have to go to the moon. Moon was haunted. Evil Wall was at frickin' uh, King of Some Monsters, so glad we didn't have to do that. That was a pretty fast seed, and we saved the world from evil. Woo! All right, well that was a little uh, extra one-off there before our next Beyond Chaos seed. Hope you enjoyed it. Might do a couple more of these just because they're fun. Uh, might jump to five also. Um, 
and do some career gay. I really don't know when the next time, if I'm being honest, I really don't know the next time I'm going to be doing like a full playthrough of a game, uh, you know, unedited and, you know, that kind of stuff. I really don't know. I haven't decided uh, what game and uh, I really haven't decided if I can like dedicate that much time to that while uh, kind of managing some of the extra stuff like Discord and Patreon and everything. Uh, but I will think about it. I'll think about like a game that I would want to do um, a full playthrough of. I'm really thinking about doing... Uh, you guys just let me know if this is something you'd be interested in. Um, we're, I'm thinking about doing like a throwback uh, to playing Breath of Fire 3. But this time doing Abyss and M's actual randomizer uh, who also created Beyond Chaos uh, instead of doing our pseudo-randomizer. And we will go back and play some more BOF3, man. It's been a minute. I love that game. And I want to see... Uh, I want to support Abyss and M's other projects, too, because Beyond Chaos is so fun. Uh, so, yeah. I'd really love to do a playthrough of that. Uh, I just don't know when. And if you guys think that should be the next game I do that's cool with me it would be repeat content technically but yeah um I don't know uh I'll think about it you guys think about it uh I, Octopath Traveler is on my radar I will say that uh I don't know when I'll play that but I, when I first play it I will play it for the channel uh, millions of people ever since the... Well, not millions. I don't know that many. You know what I mean. Uh, tons of people ever since that game came out told me that it is directly up my alley. It is something I would love. They have told me the writing is phenomenal and the gameplay and graphics are just like a love letter to my kind of fandom, my kind of RPGs. So I have thought about that for a minute, but I definitely want to play it for the channel. And I want to make sure that I have nothing else going on so that I can really focus on that playthrough uh, before I do it. Because it's, it's probably going to be something special. Uh, like, people have told me that it might become my favorite game ever. And it's like, eh, it's going to be pretty hard to beat Chrono Trigger in FF6. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it might jump the list, though, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, but yeah, Octopath Traveler's on my radar. Uh, BOF3 randomizers on my radar. Um, there's a few other ones too, but none that I can think of off the top of my head right this second. But uh, yeah, everybody, thanks for watching uh, all the way through to this one. Um, and yep, once again, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon if you want to, no pressure there. And uh, I'll keep putting out good content as long as you guys keep watching it. You, I mean, I've said this a million times before, even if you weren't here, even if you weren't watching, I'd still be making content because I started this for fun in the first place and uh, I would never stop doing it. I, I, I love my channel and uh, yeah, thanks you guys for loving it too. And I will see you all next time. Peace.